What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys and it is regarding a brand new ringside exclusive and there's a playset, there is another playset and then there is sort of like this limited edition sort of, I, I don't know what you would really call this third one, but anyways guys, if you guys do not know what the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast is, it is a podcast hosted by Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. They talk all about wrestling figures and they talk about their personal lives about action figures and their collections and everything like that and um, if you guys do not know what that is, it's actually a pretty enjoyable podcast where they talk about wrestling figures and all of that jazz. If, if, if you love wrestling figures and everything, go check it out. But uh, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder, you know, they're known for going to Mattel and, you know, uh, San Diego Comic-Con with Ringside and they talk to Bill and, you know, they do all these things related with, you know, WWE action figures and all the figures that we love here to talk about and, you know, do everything we do here on the channel. And so uh, they have a brand new Ringside exclusive, guys. Yes, you heard that correctly. Um, they, they do, like, every once in a while, they do these live live podcast of these shows that they do where they talk in front of a uh, like a live crowd I do believe that is the reason for it and this was the third installment of that and they revealed three new apparently new ringside exclusives to uh, the brand new ringside exclusive figure related things and we're going to talk about them here today and again I don't know if this is legitimate it sounded legitimate I, I could be wrong about this but um, let's go ahead and dive right into it guys the first thing is the ringside exclusive major wrestling figure podcast fabric shirt and championship title limited to 300 pieces and I know the figure picture right here isn't very good it's kind of hard to make out the details and things of that nature so I'm going to go ahead and pull up a picture of the shirt and the title and the figure that uh, this uh, this this image is I'm pretty sure that's an Elite 53 Heath Slater figure I'm pretty sure on the right side there I'm going to bring up a picture of the belt and the shirt so you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about but apparently we're going to be getting a ringside exclusive major wrestling figure podcast t-shirt and championship title belt and this is what both of those look like like and you know I have no idea what they would charge for this I don't know what the hell if this is real if it, I mean it's limited apparently it's limited to 300 pieces guys 300 things isn't very much at all like that's that's very rare so these things will be really 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 rare 300 like that's very rare to to say the least and I don't know if this is if this is legitimate I don't know how many like really big fans they have of this podcast, but um, that is just the first. Then we have the Ringside Exclusive Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Ultimate Ladder and Table Playset. It would come with a ladder, a three-piece breakaway table, and two folding chairs. Limited edition, again, to 300 pieces. You guys know what these are. These are based on the Ringside Exclusive regular TLC playsets that we have seen from the past. From Mattel, you guys know they have them in red, I think. They have them in orange. They have them in blue. They have them in yellow, pink. They have them in black, silver. They have a regular version where it's sort of like a realistic looking feel to it. And so uh, this is the next thing that we have. You guys see it's basically like the, the accessories, but they have um, on the folding chairs, they have the Wrestling Figure Podcast logo slapped on it. On the table, they have the same thing. And I doubt it's on the ladder. I don't know where the hell you'd put the logo on the ladder. But again, I mean, if these are fake, they're really good fakes because they went through a whole entire slideshow and they created these images, which wouldn't be that hard to create. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think... They these images would be hard to fake however i don't i don't know if they're fake they kind of seem legitimate to me and you know what if i would try to pick them up I think I, I'm a big enough fan of, of Zack Ryder to pick one up, and uh, I think, I, I don't know, I would try to. If these are legitimate, I think I may try and get them. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see if these are legitimate. Maybe we'll have some more news on it. Um, all of these images, by the way, are brought to me by DFreedom30 on Instagram. He's really big into the wrestling figure community, and he is really good about um, finding stuff out about this and finding leaked information, and, and uh, he knows all about WWE action figures and things of that nature as well. But the third thing that we have, guys, is the last part of the Ringside Exclusives, and it is the Ringside Exclusive Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Commentators Playset, Breakaway Commentators Table, Two Headsets, Two Folding Chairs, Two Monitors, and Two Microphones, Limited Edition. To 300 pieces so another limited edition 300 quantity thing here and you guys will see it's just like the other commentator play sets that we've seen from ringside before and you guys know it comes with the monitors and the breakaway we use them for vindication and mdt live all the time i have many of these in different colors and different color schemes and i enjoy these they're they're really fun to play around with you know you can slam your figures through them you can do some crazy stuff you can sit your figure down at the desk there and have a great commentary you guys know that me and brad tear it up on commentary so you know you have that and um, another 
Another limited quality, quality, quantity of 300 is pretty crazy. Like that that's ridiculous. Imagine if every ringside exclusive was limited to 300. I think that they would be like the prices, you know, of some of those older ringside exclusives are ridiculous. So I don't know what they would do if they, you know, if they only made 300 of every ringside exclusive. That would really make them rare, but I think the prices for them would go through the absolute roof. And I don't know I don't know what they would charge for these. I don't know how we're supposed to get them. I don't know if they're just just going to put them up on pre-order and the first 300 get them i'm not sure how they're going to do that but i'll tell you this if these do go up on pre-order if there's a way to get these i will most definitely i'm going to buy all three of them i'm just going to do it just to just to try and do it to support Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins and just just attempt at it. But I want to know down below, guys. Do you even know what the Wrestling Figure Podcast is? First of all, second of all, do you guys listen to it? Do you like it? If you are, I would love to know your thoughts down below. Um, I think that if uh, this is legitimate, I think I am again going to try and track them down and see what I can get my hands on. See if I can get them in here, and if they, if I can get them, um, I will be opening all of it and I will be uh, reviewing it for you guys and showing you guys off what it is. I love. Love the title belt design even if you know i don't have a real legitimate reason to have it i think that i could probably use it for a custom title down the road or something but i think that would probably be stupid if you know there's only 300 of them and then you end up making a custom belt out of it i don't know that'd probably be pretty dumb but uh, I, I guess they were just using that Heath Slater as a as a model figure. That is Heath Slater, I do believe. I can't I can't necessarily tell. But I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you guys think? Um, have you guys watched their videos? Have you listened to their podcast before? I would love to know down in the comment section below. And again, huge shout out to D Freedom Thirty for these images. I think that uh, it's pretty crazy, man. I mean, this is crazy that if this is legitimate, again, I, I have no idea. But um, it, it looks legitimate as far as I can tell. And if it is, well, uh, I guess I'm going to try and track them down the best that I can. But that is pretty much all of the WWE action figure news that I have for you guys. Coming up tomorrow, Wednesday night, we have SDCC preview night. I'm sure they're going to reveal some things to us. And we're going to have it right here on the channel. No matter how late it is, we're going to post that up on the channel. We're also going to be on Thursday, we have SDCC. On Friday, we have SDCC. On Saturday, we have SDCC. So I am super duper excited for uh, all of that, all of that stuff, we're going to be covering all of the news, all of the new figures, all the bad figures, all of the crappy stuff, all of the great stuff, and everything in between here on the channel. Anything regarding SDCC, guys, we will be covering it right here. I'm, I'm very excited for the new Dolph Ziggler. I'm new for. I'm excited to see if that Jack the Ripper Finn Balor is going to have the ripped up torso, or will I have to cry in the corner? That is something I'm very excited for. So we're going to have to find out and see. But I believe that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys uh, listen to that podcast, if you guys care about it or whatever. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I think it's you know if they can sell them and you know they they have the a following and audience to do so which i think they do i think it's pretty cool and i uh, can't wait to see if this is legitimate or not but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the video subscribe to the channel for more wwe action figure news and wwe elite figure action figure stuff and